What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I am doing a what's in my camera bag video. If you watched my last uh, video, which was the review on this backpack, the Low Pro BP250AW, uh, you know that it's a very small compact backpack for mirrorless cameras. Uh, and so anyways, today I'm gonna do that video, uh, what's in my camera bag, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started here with the uh, accessory case that is attached to the outside of the backpack. Uh, in this case, what I carry in here is a few things. First of all, I have this Altura mini tripod, uh, which is also, uh, you can hold it as a pistol. You have your camera up top here, and you can get some nice steady shots with this thing. It's, uh, it's been, it's come in really handy actually. I've been using it for uh, a lot of vlogging lately. Uh, and I've chosen this over my usual uh, Stealthy Go. This is the VeriZoom Stealthy Go uh, because of the size. So obviously this is easier to pack and carry and it works just fine when you're vlogging. Uh, and also for uh, my camera, I wanna get close up macro shots or whatever, uh, very, very useful tool. All right, so moving right along, I have a uh, battery charger for my Panasonic G7. Uh, and in here I have two extra batteries for my uh, Yi 4K action camera. All right. uh, a nice little cloth or rag to clean. Lens cleaner. And that's it for there. Uh, right here on the outside of the backpack I have the tripod cup. And this is my travel tripod. I'll sometimes bring this and I'll just put it in there like that and I'll strap it up. Or I'll bring my uh, Joby Gorilla Pod, which is what I'm using to film on right now. And which, by the way, I am filming on the Canon G7X. For those of you uh, wondering what I'm using today, um, so let's take a look here. Oh, one more. We have this uh, pocket in here, and then right in here I have an extra battery pack. This is the Anchor. I think it's the 20,100 battery pack. Gotta have the, uh, gotta have some extra juice with you at all times. I have the uh, Pelican case here for my SD cards. Carry several of my cards in there. Got that. And I believe that's it for here. That's all I have in here right now. Oh, actually I have uh, my filters. Forgot I had these in there. And I have, basically I just have, you can hold, let's see, six filters in there, but I only have three. They're all 77 millimeter ones, which I'll be using with my Panasonic uh, seven to 14 millimeter lens. All right. So let's take a look at inside of the backpack what I have. And by the way guys, I don't always carry all this. This is this is usually what I carry when I'm traveling, uh, when I'm out and about. So uh, we'll start over here. In these pockets here I have my, a couple of uh, lens cleaners, wipes there. I have these filters for my uh, light. I have a light I'll show you guys in just a moment. Uh, over here I have a, Follow focus handle, this is a photo diox. Very inexpensive, but very helpful little tool right here. I carry that, I have some, some of the caps for the camera bodies. And then I have my USB to mini USB cable for the cameras. That's all I have in there right now. And over here, this is for the laptop compartment, which I don't carry a laptop with me, I just carry my iPad two and I'll just slide that in there um, and I'll also carry my extra cinch strap for the low pro camera bag in case I need to add or do anything else uh, so here's everything I got packed in to my backpack I have two camera bodies I have a action camera here and I'll go over these details here now that I'm gonna start pulling those up these out so let's start off with my top my main camera for vlogging, obviously, is the Panasonic Lumix G7. And I have the 7 to 14 millimeter lens, which I recently got. I have not used any of my videos on my channel right now. Um, if you see my latest vlogs, I haven't used this lens yet, but I'm really excited to use it because it's a wide angle lens and I, it's just better for vlogging, in my opinion. Um, so, this is the Panasonic G7 with the uh, 7 to 14 millimeter lens. I have another body in here. This is my Panasonic GX8. 
with the 12 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 uh, image stabilized lens. Uh, this is a great camera guys. I, as I mentioned in my previous uh, video, I used to shoot all with Canon, Canon bodies, but I've converted to Micro Four Thirds for now, for now because I will go back to uh, getting a camera, a full frame camera uh, from Canon. But anyways, here I have the Peak Design strap. I think this is the leash, I can't remember, remember the exact name. Nice little uh, strap with the Peak Design uh, clip that goes with the Peak Design Pro Capture clip, I believe it's called. Um, I'll make any corrections if I messed up on the names of these uh, in the description. But yeah, this is the Canon GX8. I don't really use this for video. I use it for uh, photography. It's a 20 megapixel uh, Micro Four Thirds body. Real good. Nice. I get nice images, nice clean images with that one. So as you can see, it's a small backpack, but I can still get two camera bodies in there comfortably. And then over here, I have this. Uh, this is the Panasonic Lumix uh, 25 millimeter 1.7 lens. This is a nice little lens. It's good for video. It's good for photography, for portraits. Uh, you get nice with that 1.7 uh, aperture. You can get some nice bokeh um, with these Micro Four Thirds body, which they're not. That's not what they're really known for. But you, you get a nice bokeh with these uh, lenses. And then the, my next lens that I have here. This is a. This is one of my favorite lenses, actually. This is the Rokinon 7.5. This one's f.35 to 5.6 fisheye lens. You get a lot of fun shots with this. I use it a lot, I really like using this lens a lot. Um, so this is the Rokinon 7.5 millimeter Rokinon lens, fisheye lens, excuse me. All right, so moving right along. I carry this one. This is an old Canon uh, 50 millimeter f2.8 to Oh no, sorry, f1.8 to 22. This is one of the uh, vintage lenses, as you can see. Um, and I have an adapter on here. I, have, I, I got this Fotasi uh, FD to uh, M Micro Four Thirds uh, adapter, so I can use it with my camera, because this lens is obviously a Canon lens and it's not for Micro Four Thirds, it's a vintage lens. But I use it for portraits. This is 50 millimeter. But when you put it on the Micro Four Thirds camera, it's a uh, converted to uh, 100 millimeter because the uh, the crop factor on the uh, Micro Four Thirds cameras. Anyways, pretty cool lens to have. Uh, get some nice shots, real nice bouquet with those. Uh, over here, I have extra batteries right here, so I have plenty of extra batteries. I have I have two for the uh, GXA, and I have four extra batteries for the G7, which is what I do a lot of video on, so I'll have that there. This is my light, and here's the adapter. So, anytime I want to shoot at night, I'll just slide that on there to the top of the camera. And if I need a filter, I'll put the filter on. This is a CN Lux 360. I can't remember the brand. Oh, here's the brand Nanguang. Anyways, these, these are sold in, under different brands on Amazon. I got this on Amazon. Nice, nice. Here's my IKEA egg timer, <laughs> and this is what I use to put on my GoPro. Well, now I'm going to be using my uh, Yi 4K camera. I use this a lot to do time lapses, you know, to get this spinning uh, look. Very handy. All right, here we have the uh, GX8 charger, and over here I carry my Rode Video Micro can't vlog without this, well actually you can, but this is my go-to mic. Check out my review on that, I have a review on on that and I compare it to the Mic Go. Um, a little blower here to clean the lenses, a uh, little brush. Technically I could put some lens cleaner in here and spray, but I don't, I don't really use that. Gotta keep your lenses clean, guys. guys. And this one right here is the, uh, I got it wrapped up in this, this little towel here. This is my Yi 4K action camera, which replaced my GoPro Hero Silver. Great little camera. I will be doing a review on this uh, eventually, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm really happy with this one, and that's gonna do it, guys. One more thing that I keep with me that I forgot to put in here. Here's the uh, Peak Design uh, 
clip, the Pro Capture clip. This is an excellent, excellent clip. Very, very uh, handy to have. You put it on your backpack strap, your belt. Um, you have different options to use this. Real, real good uh, to clip on your camera. And um, I don't know, guys, that's gonna do it. Uh, let me know if you guys have a what's in your camera bag video. Leave the link down below, I don't mind. I'll check them out. I'd love to see what you guys have and I'm always looking to uh, improve my own um, setup. And again, this is usually what I use or what's in my camera bag from when I'm traveling, uh, vlogging and taking pictures when I'm out and about. So if you have any questions about any of the equipment that I have, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I'll leave all the uh, names of all my equipment in here so you guys can look them up if you're interested. I'm not making any money off of any of this, all about all of this. I haven't had any of this sent to me, just full disclosure on that. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. If you uh, like this video, if you uh, enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Until next video, peace. Which one is already on here. Has two of these, uh, I think they call them cinch, cinch straps. Yeah, I believe it's cinch straps. Anyways.